And Rick Alvin is here. Now you talk to some local <laughs> lawmakers. What are they saying about all this? Well, they've got the same questions, right? They want to know what's going on. As of now, we don't know, or at least no one is saying exactly what it was that was shot down over Lake Huron. There are many more questions and answers as you heard just a moment ago, and that extends to members of Congress from around West Michigan I talked to today. I asked Congressman Bill Heisinger, a Zealand Republican, if this is something new or something that has been ongoing, but since it wasn't detected by the public, the government just didn't bother to tell us. That's the logical question. Uh, there has not been an adequate answer to that. Um, and even if there is an answer to that, uh, that may be in a classified setting, and there's a, there's a responsibility, I think, here that uh, this administration and the DOD and others have figuring out um, without compromising technique, uh, how, do they, how do they reassure uh, the citizenry? Uh, how do they reassure us in Congress who represents the constituents, right? And, and that's part of, frankly, those unanswered questions or insatisfactorily answered questions that many of us have. Democratic uh, Congresswoman Hillary Skolton, too, is looking for answers that she has been unable to find. We're actively working to get answers to those questions. Uh, what it was actually was an octagonal object. And one of the reasons that is concerning is that those objects are notoriously difficult for radars to pick up the octagonal uh, shape in particular. Uh, we don't know yet the source. Um, we don't know the purpose. We don't even know if it had surveillance capabilities. Uh, those are questions that I am actively working to get answers to. And since the state-sided object is yet to be uh, referred to by official Washington as a balloon, I asked Republican Congressman John Molinar if we conclude that it was something other than a balloon. I don't know that we can conclude at this point because uh, we clearly know the first one uh, last week was a balloon. Uh, this was described as an object. It's not clear at this point what was propelling it. Uh, there could have been something inside another container, um, but we'll know more as, as it develops. So all three members say they want answers and they want public answers as to what the items are that are floating in U.S. airspace and what's going to be done about future such incursions. Clearly, they want those answers as badly as we do, but I think Congressman Heising is sees on a very real likelihood, and that is Department of Defense, State, the administration, a number of others may feel this information is too sensitive for maybe too delicate for the public to know about, meaning that real answers may be hard to find and it may be a long time in the coming. But the real question is, have they been up there all the time and we're just now knowing about it, yeah. or has this just yeah. begun? We've got questions, right? Yes. We do. I've got <laughs> lots of questions. And, yes. and they're all happy to take them, but they don't have the answers. No. And I know right now it's frustrating for them, too, because it happened over the weekend. They're not in session this week. Right. When you're not in D.C., it's harder to get answers. I get all that. I think sure. they're all looking. Yeah. All right. Rick, thank okay. you.